So here I am at the Manchester Institute for Psychotherapy with Bob Cook. Yes, hello. And uh, me and Bob are going to tell you a little bit about what 2017 is going to bring in terms of our social media presence and the things we're getting up to. Isn't that right, Bob? Yes, and we can catch up a bit with how to, you know, 2016 went as well. Yeah, yeah. So in 2016, we started the TA Facebook page off, uh, which has got uh, about five or 600 members in now. All like-minded people in the world of transactional analysis or people interested in TA. And we've also been quite busy. Um, we've filmed five videos, was it, for? Yes. For uh, for doing the supervision. Oh, the supervision, Hawkins and Show at Yeah. We yeah. did seven videos. Seven? Yeah, because there's seven modes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, that was very successful. And we put it onto the YouTube and... That's had a lot of views. It does. And I use it a lot for supervision training. Yes. So it's, uh, I enjoyed that. And um, probably they're the, some of the most successful videos in terms of training that uh, we've done. I think so. Mm. I think so. A lot of, lot of people have <coughs> commented on them, haven't they? Mm. Students have said, have commented on them. Um, we've also been quite busy with MIT. We've started their own virtual learning environments here at MIT. Yep. So every year group has their own um, little virtual learning environment where they can get documents, interact with each other when they're not in class. Um, and sometimes that's called uh, blended, blended learning. Sometimes it's called asynchronous learning. Synchronous and asynchronous. Synchronous is when you're in the class and asynchronous is when you're at home drawing down documents or talking to peers on the course or interacting. So that's been busy and there's about six of those, isn't there? Yeah, and they've been very good because the service users, i.e. the students, <coughs> have got uh, access to documents, yeah. um, to course notes, to course referencing at their fingertips at home. Uh, and also it's been very good for recapping mm. what they've done in the previous module. So they really like those. Yeah, I like those a lot. Yeah, yeah, and also I've seen I've seen quite a few of the groups <coughs> photographing things on the on the flip board or posting stuff to support each other. That's really mm. good, isn't it? So, so that's gone down quite well. And then for next year, we're going to be starting uh, book reviews. Bob is a Bob, Bob is a polymath when it comes to the reading of um, of uh, psychotherapy books, especially in the world of TA. And I, I guess you've read hundreds, have you, Bob? Yeah, I was just looking at my bookshelf uh, yesterday. In fact, I posted it on Instagram. Um, I've got three um, little libraries in my house. I've got a TA library. Wow. And I, count, I counted up my books. And I've got oh, 126 TA books. Good grief. Going back to 1961, where Byrne produced his first book, Transaction Analysis in Psychotherapy. But I was actually going back a bit further than that to when he wrote his um, first book outside TA, 1947, which is a psychiatric outline. Um, he was very much a Freudian and um, he didn't really change his ideas much um, until about 1956-57. And he wrote two books on intuition in oh, right. uh, 57 and 58. Um, and then he wrote his famous book, Transactional Analysis in Psychotherapy, where the first outlines of the modern transaction analysis that we see today, in terms of ego state model, script, games, transaction analysis proper, was firstly produced. And then from then on, I've got all these T the TA books, you know, like What You Say After Say Hello, Games People Play, mm. uh, Group Process, or Principles of Group Process, those are the burn books. Yeah, yeah. And then we've got a, a huge, huge number of books um, that have evolved since he died because three different approaches, well, four or five really, came from the void he left. Yes. Um, and we, you know, there's been a parenth of TA books um, that have come over the last 40, 50 years. I say I've got a hundred of. Wow. Um, and I've also got, of course, many other psychotherapy books um, of, of my interests, my specialisms, um, and I've, of course I trained in integrative psychotherapy, yes. and I've got, oh gosh, many of them, all Richard Erskine's books of course, but many of the um, books that have come from integrative psychotherapy, mm -hmm. 
So I've got a big library. Um, and uh, it was your idea to start this big book review up. And we started it first book last Tuesday. We're going to really? do it every other Tuesday. Mm. And the book I put, picked was Transactional Analysis in Psychotherapy, 1961 by Byrne. And the next one I'm going to be talking about, not this Tuesday, the following Tuesday, um, is going to be um, it's a very famous book, uh, which really is the hallmark of Richard Erskine's integrative psychotherapy approach to TA, um, which is Beyond Empathy. Wow. If you ask me to pick my favourite book in the Transaction Analysis and Integrative Psychotherapy um, Models, it would be Beyond Empathy by Richard Erskine. Mm. Well, I mean, those are going to be so useful if you're training in TA or you've got assignments to write. You know, Bob's mm. ever growing list of books and their references are going to be ever so useful. We're going to put them onto the YouTube channel and um, people can just, just pick, pick them off and use them for their learning or just as general interest. So that's uh, that's yeah. quite exciting for next year, isn't it, Bob? Yeah, yeah. So, and those will eventually go on my MIP site. Yeah. And I hope that um, when we sit here catching up yes. next you know, year's time, 2017, um, we'll have reviewed 30 to 40 books. Wow. It's a lot of books, Bob. Well, well yeah, more than that, because mm. if we're going to do one every Tuesday, I mean, it's Christmases and Easter's and summer's. Yeah, yeah. I bet we get... I bet we get uh, 52 weeks in a year, so I bet, um, yeah, I bet we get 30, 40 books done. Yeah. So we should be sitting here with the whole review section. We should. And, and you know, comments down below. Mm. You know, if, you, if you've got any comments, you'd like to hear it in the group. Um, mm. The other thing is, we're going to be doing more live videos, so we're going to pop up live. Pop up live. Pop yeah. up live. Like pop up shops. Like a know? pop up, <laughs> yes, like, like a pop up. Like a pop up <laughs> tutor of therapy, Bob. Yeah. Just pop up. Pop up. And, uh, and maybe we'll do some some Q and A's, some live Q and A's on on the Facebook feed. We'll have to set that up. Yeah. But um, yeah. get Bob Bob to do some live Q and A's so that you can you can interact with him um, in real time. That'd be useful. Too. Yeah. Uh, yes, it would. And of course, you came up with a good idea which I liked a lot, which I'd like to develop next year.